What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we were talking about rumors, specifically GPU rumors, and it just feels like rumor, 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 rumor. Yeah, rumor has it that there are gonna be a lot of changes coming up this year, and so kind of let's dive into that topic. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this for a little while, and when, the reason I said NVIDIA is our only hope in the thumbnail of this video was A, I've been wanting to do like a Star Wars thumbnail forever because I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so check that box off, but specifically because AMD is absent this year. For you guys who don't know, we did get a sneak peek at their roadmap coming up for next year. This year they're just focusing on APUs or integrated graphic solutions with their new CPU refresh coming out and see uh, basically Ryzen Plus, and then um, kind of like a, a Vega refresh more or less. The problem is that even if you could get a hold of these GPUs, if they weren't out of stock like crazy, AMD doesn't really have anything to offer. This is highly compounded by the fact that the head of the Radeon department of AMD, Roger Kaduri, got snatched up by Intel, who are now working supposedly on their own line of GPUs, which I did a other video on. So this means AMD is kind of being left out in the dark. Now there are some up and comers coming up on their development side, some people who are kind of higher management, I believe over at Intel that have switched over, and so, it, which I you know is ironic, but it's just one of those things where we're gonna have to see what they have to offer. AMD is gonna be pretty much out of the game, I think, in the graphics department until 2019 when supposedly their new Navi uh, architecture is going to be coming out. So with NVIDIA, there have been so many rumors. The first rumor was that at this upcoming event this month, we were gonna see new releases, potentially three different architectures, Volta for AI and learning, then Turing for miners, and then Ampere for gamers. And now there was a rumor that no, flip-flop those, it's actually Turing for gamers and Ampers for miners. No wait, they're not gonna release anything until after summer. Well, that's good, maybe prices will go down. No, Nvidia says prices will remain the same or go higher for MSRP before the end of the year. There are so many rumors. Some of this I believe is true, some of it's not. And it's hard to say, but just understand that right now Nvidia is the best hope any of us any of us have as a gamer of getting a hold of a GPU for relatively reasonable costs. Now I've already said in previous videos on why the 1063 gigabyte version is starting to come more available. It's still way overpriced, but at least we're starting to get more availability for that. GPU specifically um, the three gigabyte version due to uh, something as far as like mining with the DAG file not and Windows 10. I did a whole video on it. Go ahead and watch it if you want to. But just understand that until we see Nvidia release something and hopefully we'll see something this month, it's all pure speculation unless it's coming directly from them. What we do know is that this year has been one of the worst years for PC gamers trying to get a hold of a GPU. And I'm like like a hawk, I'm trying to find other ways that gamers can get a hold of these GPUs. And as soon as I do, I will probably release another video on three new tips to get a hold of GPUs if I can figure out how to do that myself because right now, everyone's kind of in the same bucket. So until we see actual concrete information come out, guys, don't hold your breath necessarily, but let's wait and see because Nvidia might surprise us all as they've known to be doing in the past. We'll just have to see with their upcoming event this year in March. Outside of that, guys, if you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed. My channel is continuing to blow up. I say it every video, but it's true every video. Support me directly if you're buying PC parts through my Amazon affiliate links down below. All that money goes back into the channel and the giveaways, like the ones I'm running right now, there's two of them. So if you haven't entered them already, go ahead and uh, click them down in the description below. Consider becoming a Patreon if you want to directly support me. Thank you to all my Patreons. I plug you at the end of my video just because I appreciate your direct support, obviously. And we hope to see you next time here on Gear Inc.